Here he comes. Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Tenova Healthcare. Tenova.com is the website to check out. Is your blood pressure where it needs to be? Do you even know? Getting it in the right range can save your life. If you want to know more about your, your blood pressure, get in touch with your primary care physician or call 1-855-TENOVA, 1-855-TENOVA, or visit tenova.com. Nothing more important than getting your blood pressure in the right range. Isn't that right, Bob Hodge? Yeah, speaking of blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Feet like somebody was running back to the desk. I don't know what that was. All right, a uh, couple of coaching changes at UT to talk about this week. Um, after the surprise firing of Sam Winterbottom, it was announced that, in not surprising, not surprising move, Chris Woodruff, the former of all great, is being promoted into the head coaching role there. Jimmy, you are Mr. Tennis. <laughs> Your thoughts on this change from Winterbottom to Woodruff? I think most of us were a little surprised that you get rid of Winterbottom, who had had three really good seasons at UT, had been a coach of the year once, had gotten to the NCAA Finals once, and then you change it over to a guy who's of all legend. Your thoughts on it, and what do you think their relationship is right now? That's shades of former majors. Was is everybody happy? Still friendly over yeah, there? Yeah, they you know? are. They, it's. I don't think it's anything comparable to to the situation aside from, with majors and former. Aside from the fact that it is a an a, assistant, an assistant replacing, replacing. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I talked to Sam Winterbottom on Friday. He was absolutely delighted that, that Chris Woodruff was getting the job. I saw Sam Friday morning, uh, and and we knew that Woodruff was getting the job Thursday. So, uh, and Chris had nothing but good things to say about Winterbottom. The last two years, the program was what uh, three and twenty-one, something like that. The great run he had, we won back-to-back -back SEC mm -hmm. titles uh, uh, in 2010, 11. They were 21 and one, something like that. But they had fallen off. The recruiting had fallen off a little bit. One thing interesting from Woodruff was he said he needed to change the culture. Yet he's a part of that culture, which I thought was interesting. But every coach says that. Uh, I think there were some philosophical differences from Woodruff and Winterbottom. But I think they get along great. Woodruff referred to Winterbottom as a mentor. I think it's a great hire. I think Chris yeah. checks almost every box you want except head coaching experience. But I think he'll do a good job. Speaking of guys who check every box you want, <laughs> Dave Serrano. Yeah. Boy, was I wrong. I when I looked at that resume, it's everything you need. Mm -hmm. He's taken two different teams to the College World Series. One of those, Cal Irvine, which was a heck of a job. Cal Fullerton, I get it. That's a great program. Cal Irvine, though, he did, his, he did some legwork mm -hmm. there. Um, he'd been at Tennessee. He'd recruited. It was the perfect hire on paper. It didn't work out that way. He announces he's resigning, obviously. His contract was up. And they gave him plenty of chances, which I agreed with giving him, in, giving him this year. Mm -hmm. uh, where do they go now? Mike Strange, you wrote about uh, the baseball program today in the Sentinel. Some frightening numbers all time. They're 11th in the SEC. All time just, standings on winning percentage, Tennessee's 11th. It's just not a great baseball program and never has. And you ran off the one guy who, because he had ups and downs. Yeah. Well, his I liked ups, his ups, though. His ups were higher yeah. than anybody Collins else. Series. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty good up. Yeah, it was. And they, they ran him off. And I don't know, this is my question, if John Curry wants to make a splash higher, is Tennessee's baseball reputation and the SEC being so ferocious, is it good enough to go make a splash hire if he wants to? It'd be tough. If you want to make a splash hire, go hire Tim Corbin at Vanderbilt. But that's out of the question. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Uh, I, you know, we, I, we don't all cover baseball like we do, you know, football. So we don't really know who the hot names are. In, in talking to John Curry Friday, he said uh, head coaching experience is not a, not a deal killer, that there's plenty of good assistance. He talked about fit. He said a guy can be a good fit at one place and not at another. I don't know if he was talking about Dave Serrano there being a better fit on the West Coast, but uh, I, I don't know where they go, and, and I don't really know who, who the splash hire would be. I'm going to pick up the phone and call Rick Honeycutt and just oh. see what he wants to do, pitching coach of the Dodgers. And uh, he's been doing that, I think, what, 17 years now? Does he want and to start recruiting? Well, even if he doesn't, I, I'm going to go to Rick Honeycutt, Todd Helton, Phil Garner, and I'm going to get some input, and I'm going to gauge their level of interest. Chris Burke is another name yeah, that's, that's going to pop up. We know he's interested. Well, and you know he's yeah. interested. But, I mean, No head coaching is, experience, but John Curry referenced that. And, and you know, the coach said. we're talking about, Rod Delmonico, this 10 years since Rod was kind of hit, you know, hit the road here, it, it, the Todd Raleigh hire was terrible. I mean, you got to get this right because a lot of people, I mean, I know it's not a huge amount, but a lot of people care about UT baseball. Well, you got the average attendance is, what, 1,100? 
A little bit higher, I think. No, I thought it was 11. 17, 11. 17, 13th out of 14 in the SEC yeah. this okay. year. Okay, 17, 11. I must have thought it was 11, 17. Uh, Honeycutt wanted the job six years ago. I certainly uh, agree with hiring Serrano. The other name to watch out for is Alan Cockrell. So you're looking at all the former Vols out mm -hmm. there. So. And it, I think I think any of those would be viewed as a splash hire by the fan base. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, there, there's a, I don't know a name. I was told there's an assistant coach at Michigan. A nameless coach. Uh, but, uh, a Wolverine. Uh, Mr. Doe. Yeah, no. John Doe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like the board. But um, uh, I, I think it is hard to go out and pick somebody, as, as Mike was saying, to go find some splash. Our head coach, a proven head coach right. in another program, it's going to be hard to do. I just don't think they're going to come to Tennessee. And, you, and Tennessee's not going to overspend on a baseball coach either, I don't believe. Mm -hmm. Because when you are, when you look at the attendance, all right, let's say you got it to 4,000 people. That's still not going to move the needle enough to make you say, ooh, let's throw the bank yeah. at him. Yeah, with some SEC yeah. programs average, what, 7,500 or, or oh, more? Yeah, yeah. That's four, I think, that yeah. hit that number. Mm -hmm. And Corbin, the Vanderbilt coach, makes a million a year. Mm -hmm. Tennessee's paying, what, 450000 yeah. for the, the baseball job? And it's so tough in baseball. 11.7 scholarships, and Major League Baseball has like a million rounds of the draft. That, that's true, yeah. uh, but that's also true for everyone. It's, the, mm -hmm. the trick is it it's probably makes it harder to rebuild. Yes. Mm -hmm. But still, if you can do it at Vanderbilt. And Kentucky's got a solid program now and done well. So Kentucky and they're north of you. So the whole north mm -hmm. thing, yeah. the noise. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Virginia, just to the east, has had a real good run in baseball, too. So there's another one that the weather, you can't say it's That's right. the northern weather. I know. All right, guys. Uh, when we come back, uh, website did a Butch Jones approval poll. They asked fans to weigh in and say if they approved or disapproved the job he's doing. Interesting numbers. Come back, see if you're surprised.